Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hello everyone, this is Ajit Gupta from Miracles Innovation Lab. This video is all about Alvis, which is SAP order status bot for agent assistance. Here is my agenda. I will be talking about conversation bot introduction, the agent assist model, Microsoft Bot Framework and LUIS, dialog flow of our bot, architecture, and finally live chat demo. Conversation bots introduction. A chatbot is a program that communicates with you. It can talk to you through different channels such as Facebook Messenger, Siri, SMS, Slack, Skype, and many others. Some of the use cases in conversational bots are virtual service agents on the website or Facebook, also able to interact with the things like Alexa, Google Home, where we can able to ask the stuff to be done and also able to control mobile applications, where users can just simply ask in natural language instead of texting. Agent assist model. This is the conversation between customer, agent, and bot. So customer interacts with the agent and then agent interacts with the bot. A bot gives the response to the agent and finally agent delivers the status to the customer. This bot can be exposed directly to a customer as well for self-service or the status updates in any channel such as Facebook Messenger and others. Instead of going through numerous searches, the bot is directly able to understand what the user needs and responds back. The main reason why bots are helpful are for helping the user get information from backend system directly, even if there are multiple systems to touch. So no more waiting for the customer. They get their information accurately and quickly. Introducing Microsoft Bot Framework and LUIS. Microsoft Bot Framework is a platform where we can build and connect intelligent bots to interact with users naturally. They can support multiple channels like Slack, Skype, and many more. It comes with components like Bot Framework Emulator, where developers can test their bot within the development environment, Bot Builder SDK, which provides these rich features of SDK for .NET and Node.js platform. The SDK provides features that make interaction between bots and users much simpler. Bot Framework Connector, which supports several popular channels like Skype, Slack, Facebook, and many more. It comes with ecosystem services, which includes LUIS, which is natural language processing and understanding engine. It comes with Microsoft Cognitive Services and Bing Set Services, which we can integrate into our bot. We have a set of compute options and deploy our bot using Azure Functions, Containers, and Cloud. So here is a dialog flow of how agent interacts with the bot. So agent sends messages like hello, and then bot responds like, hi, I'm Alvis, how can I help you? Here, Alvis is the bot name. Now, agent asks Alvis about the order status, which is provided by the customer, and then Alvis responds for the given order number. This is the overall dialog flow. Now let's move to the architecture. On the left hand side, you can see direct line channel. In this bot, we use direct line. You can enable communication between your bot and your client application by using direct line API. Direct line conversations are explicitly opened by clients and may run as long as the bot and client participate and have valid credentials. A client can send messages to your bot by issuing HTTP POST request. We can use same bot with same dialog flow with any other channels as well. When user sends messages, it gets sent to a bot framework where bot connector is configured. Now this will send back to the Node.js runtime where messaging endpoint is configured within our bot registers. Node.js runtime processes a request and uses backend systems such as LUIS. LUIS allows the user to interact with, with it in much the way they would interact with a human. It uses SAP NetWeaver gateway to access the order number which are stored in the SAP system. Now Node.js runtime pulls the data from SAP system and gives response to the user regarding the present status of the given order number. Let's now move for live demo. This is the UI of chatbot. You can see in left hand side Alvis, which is a bot, and Tina, which is a customer. Now agent starts chatting with the bot. So he just gives messages like hi. And bot gives response like hello, I am Alvis, how can I help you? Now agent just asks like what can you do with Alvis? Now, I'll give you a response like, I can help you with the ordering order and delivery status. 
So here is Tina, who is customer. The customer needs to know about order status and approaches agent. So she said, just sends message like hi. Now agent needs to reply for that message, and he just says like hello, good morning. How may I help you? So Tina asks help with the order status. So now agent goes back to Elvis and asks for the help for other status. Now Elvis gives response like to ask the customer for the order number. So now agent goes back to customer and he asks for the order number. So he just simply gives like can you please provide me order number. So Tina provides the order number. The same order number is been used to the Elvis. So now basing on the order number, Elvis gives the response like oral order with the specific number is completely processed. Now agent goes back to customer and updates the message like you are order is completely processed. Let me know if you have any other questions. So now Tina asks help with delivery status. Now agent goes back to Alvis and asks for delivery status. Now Alvis give delivery status and this would be updated to customer. So now agent just types the message like delivery has been processed as well. Now Tina just simply sends a message like thank you. Now Alien sends like my pleasure. Let me know if you need anything else. Tina says that he, she doesn't know, want anything else and she just gives the message like no. So he doesn't give the final message like thanks. Have a great day. And Tina gives the message like thank you. This is the overall demo. Thank you. Thank you for watching the laboratory a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash dlabs.